All right, Dr. Nguyen here. I wanna to talk to you about using some cow horn forceps for the lower tooth. Now here we have an infected tooth reaching all the way to the apex as marked here. So first we go ahead and sever the gingival attachment and then we go ahead and start to elevate. So we don't have to elevate too much. I notice a lot of movement already due to the bone loss that has already occurred. So here we have lower cow horn forceps the most important thing about using cow horn forceps is case selection with the forceps. So here we already have so much movement that realistically we could have used the 151 forceps for the lower universals. Here we had just the right amount of bone loss to where we could get the cow horn forceps into the furcation and actually squeeze a little bit and cause that root structure to elevate up out of the bone socket. Realistically, again, you really could have just used the 151 universal for the lowers because of so much bone loss occurring there that it would have been very simple as well.